Hey, this is Michael from Arc Smarter, and I wanted to just do a quick uh, video tutorial to show you how you can use Revit macros uh, in your project files. Now, Revit macros are quick, great tools that can automate tedious tasks in Revit. They're similar to add-ins, except Revit macros are embedded in RVT files. So they they go along with the RVT file, uh, makes them sometimes a little bit easier to operate because they don't have to be installed in Revit, um, but there is a little bit of a, a trick to running them. So I'm working in a file right now. What I want to do is I want to renumber all of my uh, door tags to match my room numbers. Really tedious to do this manually. Fortunately, I have a macro that's going to help me out. Now, what I need to do first is open up the macro file, open up the RVT file that contains the macro. And as I said, macros are embedded inside of RVT files. So I'm going to go up to the Revit button. I'm going to click on open and I'm going to browse to the macro. The one I want is right here. It's called renumber doors to rooms. So I go ahead and I open it up. And the file opens inside of Revit and I automatically get this macro security alert. And this is just telling me that there is a macro in the file. And sometimes you can have macros, you know, that uh, don't always play nice. Uh, they could be used for nefarious purposes by hackers or whatever. So this is just letting you know that the file does contain macros. If I want to, I could disable them. Um, but in this case, you know, I wrote the macro, so I know it's a good one. I'm going to click on enable macros for the document. And right now, I'm inside the macro file. Again, it's an RVT file. I'm going to go up to the uh, switch windows, and I'm going to switch over to the project that I want to run the macro on. So I switch right there. And next, I go up to the Manage ribbon, and I'm going to go over to the right-hand side to the Macro Manager. I click on that, and I get the Macro Manager dialog box. And I have tabs here for all of the files that are open. Now, the first tab is Application, and that is my Application Macros. Uh, application Macros are particular to my Windows profile, so I can add, mac I can add macros here, I can copy and paste them uh, from an RVT file into this application macro, but then they're only associated to me. So if I want to share that macro with somebody else, I'm kind of out of luck. So typically I like to just keep my macros in RVT files, which makes them a lot more portable. Now I have two files open. I have project one, and you can see right here there's no macros in this file. And then I click over to our uh, renumber doors to rooms and I can see already that I have a couple macros in here. I'm going to click down uh, the plus button next to Arc Smarter and there's two macros, one called Flip Door Rooms and the other one called Renumber Doors. Now I want to run Renumber Doors so I select it from the list then I click on the Run button. And you can see the macro is very quick. It goes through and it renumbers all of those door numbers to the room. And that's it. That's how you run Revit Macros. If you're interested in downloading some free Revit macros, I recommend you go to uh, my website, arcsmarter.com. And if you join ArcSmarter, you'll get access to the ArcSmarter toolbox. And in the toolbox, I've written uh, a number of macros for all sorts of tasks. You can download them for free, run them much yourself, uh, and save a lot of time in Revit. Thanks again. This is Michael from ArcSmarter.